Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Inner Stage Window, my Saturday stream. And today, we're going to be playing some more of our Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a really, really good Saturday. There we go. I got my LaCroix today. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into the game. Here we go. Oh, no. There we go. Now you can see it. Um, so... Four, because we're going to be definitely starting Generation Six today. Because we heard, uh, we heard our our lovely our lovely lady uh, had pregnancy bells. So I'm going to be adding this lot here. So we're going to have a park. I want to have a park. Um, we can keep the name Planetary Pet Park. I think that's fine. So we're going to have a park for our Sims to go to. Starting now, we're adding adding to the neighborhood with this new generation. Okay. So that being said, let's get into the family. All right, so last we left off, we had Bells with uh, with Robert and with uh, Charlotte here. So Robert and Charlotte, that's our main couple. Previous generation, we've got James and his sister, Shimona. Shimona is Charlotte's mama. So, oh, we had them go to bed. Okay, that's where we are. Um, let's see, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte's a deep dive master oceanography and he's adventurer, which we do have the adventurer world. Hello, Blue, how's it going? Oh, oh. She's awake, okay. I sent her, I must have sent her to bed too early before. Lurkin, well, thank you so much for Lurkin, Blue. I hope you're having a good Saturday. I hope everything is nice and relaxing and you can chill and all that stuff. All right, I'm gonna let her be, I think. Like, she doesn't need any skills or anything. And who knows when she's going to work again, because we're gonna try to have as many babies as we can with this couple and uh, and get them going in some in some jobs. Because we need, we still have like a lot of uh, of jobs that we need to, to get the um, career rewards for. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to get some, some babies <laughs> so they can have some jobs. I don't know if we're, they're all gonna stay in the house, how exactly we're gonna do that. We might have to move some of them out. We do have that other house in the neighborhood that we were using for um, Jaden before, so we'll see. We'll see how exactly we do all that. We did move um, Aspen out and her coffin because we realized that she cannot die. <laughs> As a zombie vampire, she cannot die. So her coffin is up here. Um, I have, I'm not sure exactly how I, oh, he needs to go to bed, how, um, we want to do with her. Oh, you need to go to bed too. Why are you in the bath? Get, get in bed. Um, how we want to do with her, maybe we'll move her into the little house, but like, I'm not going to actively play her much. Um, she's just going to be a cult leader off doing her own thing. Lunar, thank you. Thank you so much, Lunar. How are you doing? How are you doing? Two month streak. I know that's a lie. That's a lie. That's just because it's a new account. That's not true. In my heart, I know you're like at 30 months or something crazy. Welcome, so welcome, welcome, Scrub. It's been a second since I've seen you during stream time. How have you been? How have you been? I know we've hung out in the Discord, but like, I don't think I've seen you during stream time for a while. And Lunar with the first, there we go. Very busy, very, well, good kind of busy, right? Like everything's going good with work and school. I know the last update I got from you um, was very positive in regards to like starting school and like your job paying for a lot of it and all of that stuff. Like it was all really, really good. School's been nuts. <laughs> Hopefully a good kind of nuts, right? I'm doing well and yes, it's like 30 months. Yeah, right? Like I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So in, a, in our hearts, we know. We know that whatever whatever it says, we actually need to add like, 27 28 months to that <laughs> from your old account from your old account i wish i could edit it you know like i wish i could edit it so you could have like all your badges back and stuff you know you know you know because i know you're missing some of that stuff that you had gotten up to on your other account Ooh, he wants to get struck by lightning maybe we should do that for him we don't have the lightning death yet and i got the weather machine so we can do like rain. 
Yeah. And I think if we do rain, that that might summon some lightning. Things have been good the last semester, not so much, but there's been a lot going on that I'd rather not put on the stream. Okay, can, I understand. I can DM you later if you, I, I assume that's if you like, yeah, if you want to tell me, like, I'm, I'm curious. Well, whatever it is, I hope it gets better. And I hope that like, um, school gets good. I, I mean, I know when I, when I was in college, when I did my bachelor's and stuff, like not every semester went well, you know, but in the end it turned out fine. And then like, once you get to the end, when you have the degree, nobody cares, um, what happened for each individual semester, you know what I mean? So like, hopefully it's just one bad semester and it'll all end up okay. Um, that's how it was for me anyways. So yeah. I miss the founder badge, but that's okay. Yeah, I miss you having the founder badge too. We know in our hearts, in our hearts, you have a founder badge. That's what I'm hoping for too. Yeah, back for like five minutes. <laughs> Blue, hello. Yeah, I mean, if, what is it? Like, I don't know, you're getting a four year degree, right? Like that's what I did it. And so it was eight semesters and some of those semesters were not so good, um, but in the end it doesn't matter and nobody cares. So like, it's whatever. Hey, hey, hope all's well. Yeah, everything's good with me. Everything's good with me. I'm having an excellent time. Business admin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, and that's kind of similar to what I did too. Like I did international business, which was like basically business admin, just with a couple of different, slightly different classes. Um, but it was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. All right, Robert, when you wake up, you can go to the bathroom. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try to get. Let's try to get. Let's try to get our, our friend James struck by lightning. He, he had a very exciting life. He dated so much. Never got married. Never had no kids. Um, after he was done dating, dedicated his life to his hobby, fitness. True, a true pleasure sim. A true pleasure sim right there. Yeah, and a business admin degree also I think is like very valuable. Like people, people are like always interested in that, no matter what the actual like job is. You know, so like, it's a good degree. It's a good degree. Uh, oh, there's no, there's no leftovers. Okay. I can't believe we ate all the leftovers. Well, you get to cook this morning then, Robert. That's right. I did the Barbenheimer double feature. I still haven't seen Oppenheimer. what do you think of Barbie Blue? Focusing on entrepreneurship and leadership. Might take marketing later on. If I go for a master's though, found out marketing is a lot like character creation for RP and it's a blast. True. I didn't have a lot of marketing classes. I had a couple, um, but like, in like actually in the working world i wish i had taken some extra marketing classes because i really could have fucking used them you know what i'm saying <laughs> like they would have been really really valuable um i'm i have i found out later but like at this point school is too expensive and i would not go back you know but uh but yeah i do wish i had spent some more time learning some marketing things when i was actually in school um because i've had to learn a lot of that stuff on the job which you know is is fine like, but it would have been cool to, like, have some of that knowledge from the beginning, you know. And, like, why did Barbie make me feel more than Oppenheimer did? Because Barbie's a good fucking movie, Blue. Because it's an excellent movie. I loved Barbie. I, I was, like, was the freaking best. It was so good. Um, it was just, yeah, it was everything. It was everything I wanted and more. <clears throat> if I do, I'll do some marketing for you and get you to become even more. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Scrub. Thank you. Like... <laughs> I'm so bad at marketing on here, but I'll tell you, most of it is like, just, I just don't got the time. Like in some ways, like I know what I need to do, but I just like, I do not have the time or energy to actually do it. You know what I mean? But yes, like I would love the help cause I freaking need it. Like the part of the reason I'm not more popular is literally because I just do not spend the time marketing. I know I would be more popular if I just actually spend the time, but I don't. <laughs> But I don't. You know what I mean? Not sit. You need to eat the, eat the pancakes. Eat some pancakes. You're very pregnant. You need them. You need them for the baby. Well, I don't know if Barbie's perfect. I didn't say it was perfect. I just freaking love it. It's a, It was amazing. It was exactly what I wanted from a summer blockbuster movie. Um, and I and like everyone I know that's seen it liked it. Like I don't know anyone that's a Barbie hater that's actually seen it. You know, it was certainly an experience. <laughs> I both regret and don't regret watching the movie. That's funny. Hysterical moments. There were those last 10 minutes with Ru I know, I know, right, Blue? Yeah, I cried. I cried at that part. The Ruth part at the end. Oh my god. Like, I was not expecting the Barbie movie to make me feel those things, but it definitely did. 
uh, the Ruth, the Ruth part was like, oh my god. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh. All right, Robert, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Hello, EA Game Fan. How are you doing? How are you doing on this lovely Saturday? I hope you're having a, a great, amazing, beautiful, awesome, wonderful Saturday. We are here. We're having a good time. We're having a really good time. <clears throat> oh, oh, look at these two. We're going to have so many babies. We're going to have so many babies. Like, look, they're just taking care of it for me. I mean, she can't get pregnant right now, but, like, they're just taking care of it. I get you. I got a mind for business, but person personality for behind the scenes work. When I tried streaming, I couldn't keep myself interested or keep conversation going with myself. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard. It is hard. Um, but see, that's the easy part for me. The behind the scenes stuff is is like the boring part. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just want to make the content. I don't want to like market the content or promote the content. I just want to like make the content. And I I do the same thing to myself in my real job too. Like I just. I just want to make the content. I don't want to, like, do anything else. All right, my dude, let's get you struck by lightning. Shout out to Billie Eilish for a contribution to the soundtrack. Right? That song is so good. I love the musical store. Me too. Like, I went and listened to the um the soundtrack afterwards. And I like the score. I liked the songs they picked. I liked the original, the, like, the Ken song, the original song. Like, it was good. Like, it was all really good, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's just like, it's just excellent. Like, I think it's, it's just a good example of like, when you let people just like, excuse me, make what they want to make and like, get the right people involved in it. Like you can end up with a really good movie that everyone loves and, um, you know, isn't just trash and boring and not just, you know, another freaking superhero movie that everyone's seen a zillion freaking times. Oh, the chat's blocking what Mr. James is doing here. Oppenheimer in the movie felt like a single hour, like a single hour has passed. I don't want it to end in the movie's three hours. Yeah, it's really long, right? I haven't seen it. I want to. Okay. So I don't know how to make this lightning. I don't know how to make this lightning, but it's raining at least. Maybe it'll lightning. Yeah, he's playing with it. Okay, that's fine, James. You can do that. I'm okay now. My legacy was G Gen 3 was born. Yay! Congratulations! It was a boy. I named him Stefano Alexander. Oh my god. Uh, El oh, Alexander has a new sentence. Alexander proposed at Gen 2 air birthday and just one sim day away from Joffrey Landgrab. Oh my god. And two other people were unalived by old age. <laughs> the unaliving is the, f uh, the funniest, funnest part, of course, of any legacy. All right, what are we doing here? Don't you need you? Oh, you want to get a promotion? Do you need any skills for that? You don't need any skills for that. You're good. But I do want you working on your sports interest and body skills. So you're gonna come up here and punch, punch. Okay. Maybe I don't. Maybe I can't just make lightning. Like, how do I change season to no? Turn off the rain. Create weather. El snow. Well, maybe we can do. He wants to get struck by lightning though. How do I make the make the weather worse because <laughs> i know when it comes to the rain there's like multiple rains maybe if i do this rain more okay i have to cheat it i have to cheat it yeah there we go there we got the heavy rain that's what we want and you to just be outside in it oh the butler's doing some gardening thank you mr butler thank you yeah more Okay. Oh, I have to keep doing it. What's this? Thunder. Oh, TNL Thunder and Lightning. Haha, -ha, this is how I get him struck by lightning. Okay, come here. Come here. You want to get struck by lightning? You need to do outside activities. Why don't you um go splash in the puddle? That's That'll increase it. Just one some day away from their wedding. Oh, nice. I was thoroughly entertained by Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah, I really want to see it because I love Cillian Murphy. But, um, but yeah. I don't know about a masterpiece, though. You better be talking about Oppenheimer and not Barbie, because Barbie was absolutely a masterpiece. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it was a really good blockbuster movie. Um, but yeah, I want to see Oppenheimer because I love Cillian mm. Murphy. That's like that's like the main reason that I really want to see it. So yeah. All right, carpool for Robert in about an hour. Okay. Oh, you need to come eat some food then um, before you go. I was thoroughly entertained in Oppenheimer. Okay, good, good, good. Because I do want to see it. 
Uh-huh. Then after Barbenheimer, we decided to watch Imitation Game. <laughs> Me and my sister were in a World War II mood, I guess. I guess. <laughs> That's funny, though. Did you like Imitation Game? Have you seen that before? What's happening over here? Oh, they're just hanging out. Oh, and something bad while Alex and Gina and his fiance were out to meet some people. The man from the household tried to flirt with Alex and Gina, pretty angry at him. <laughs> I love I love when that happens with Sims. It's the best. No, you haven't got struck. Go. Boy. Boy, you want to get struck by lightning. You got to go play in the puddles. You got to go play in the puddles. Okay. Ruth initially saw the first doll and inspired her Barbie doll post-World War II. Oh, I love that. World War II Barbie. We're doing a Barbie th theme for Halloween at work. I'm so excited. I've got this like really beautiful like sweater dress um, that uh, that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna do a winter thing. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys when it gets closer to Halloween and I actually like get all the stuff for it. But it's gonna be like, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. And we're gonna do our whole like little corner of the office, like all in Barbie stuff. Um, it's gonna be awesome. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Okay, wait, boy or girl, boy or girl, what do we think? What do we think it's gonna be? Boy or girl? What do we think? Right when he's going to work, of course. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. The baby's last name, Charlotte. Okay, here we go. Girl, we think it's gonna be a girl. So we have a channel point redeemed for that, EA. We do have a lot of names in the queue, but we're trying to have, I wanna have like a lot of babies for this couple because we haven't done that in a generation yet. I wanna do that. So we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see how many babies we can get them to have without getting super too overwhelmed. But I wanna have lots. Um, ooh, blonde like Robert. Wow, we haven't had a blonde. Okay, oh, it's a boy. It's a boy. Okay, let's see what names we've got in the queue. Um, let me open this up, okay. Request queue. Isla and Bjorn. Okay, so we're gonna do, okay, here we go. Here we go, for a baby boy, we're gonna do Atlas. That's been in the queue for a long time, but we've not used it. So we're gonna do Atlas. Isla like, Il oh, you pronounce it Ela. okay. Okay, so we're gonna do Atlas for the first, for the first baby. Okay, so as soon as Robert gets home from work, we got to get them working on having another baby. <laughs> we got to get them working on having another baby. Um, Imitation Game was set on the British side of World War II, so yeah, it's all linked. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen Imitation Game, but it sounds like super familiar, like I've seen it before. But I don't know. I've seen a lot of movies, so sometimes I think I haven't seen a movie, and then like I go and to watch it, and I realize like, oh yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> Maybe trying to get stuff ready for Halloween already because I want to do a couple steampunk thing. Yes, okay. So Scrub, if she's comfortable with it, you've got to take pictures and post them in the Discord so that I can see uh, your steampunk outfit. I think that would be really fun. I think that would be really fun. All right, you take a nap, girl. You just had a baby. Take a nap. Imitation game was the story of Alan Turing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Two Barbie dolls I want are Wedding Midge Set and Rockin' Rapping. Oh my god, that sounds amazing, EA Game Fan. Those sound like Barbies right up my alley. Okay, girl, you gotta get out of there. You need, Why don't you go, like, um, eat the cat, fill the bowl. Where, what are you doing, James? Are you outside? Okay. Oh, oh, you and Ashley's doing a thing. Okay, that's fine. I aged her up for you. I aged her up for you, babe, so. I don't know if you've actually ever seen my face. I haven't. I haven't, Scrub. I've never actually seen what your face looks like. I mean, I, I think when you posted pictures before, they've been like, you know, like your hand's been in them or something. So like, I don't really know much about what you look like, only very little bit. Effectively, the man had to revolutionize and properly invent, yes, yeah, Turing. That's why you have the, you have the Turing test to figure out if you're a robot or not. Um, many Turing tests think I'm a robot. You know, um, I'm sure that happens to you as well. Oh, there's lightning. There's lightning. Uh, is Robert, no, Robert's at work. Robert's at work. Okay, maybe after they woohoo, I'll put him in the, I'll have him splash in puddles again. In order to break the Enigma code of the bad Germany team here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had to break the Nazi Enigma code. That's true, that's true. I don't think I've ever seen the, that movie though, but I do know the story. Ooh, okay, chance card. 
A game from overseas is on during lunchtime. Robert really wants to see it, but just as the game is about to start, Robert gets called into an impromptu meeting. Should Robert attend the meeting or make up an excuse to watch the game instead? He needs to go to your meeting, Robert. Come the fuck on. Robert goes to the meeting, is quickly bored out of his mind. Mood. <laughs> he keeps thinking about the game he is currently missing, and that's the reason he completely unprepared his boss asking a question. Robert quickly makes something up, and he can tell his coworkers' faces that his answer had nothing to do with the question. Needless to say, his boss is less than impressed inside. <gasps> no demotion. No. He wanted to get a promotion. Robert, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, friend. I'm so sorry. He's demoted because of poor work performance. He's now a deep sea excavator. Poor Robert. The wedding midge set is like the midge Barbie's first friend, her husband, Alan, two kids and Barbie and Ken as guests. Wait, so wait. So Alan is actually midge's husband, like canon wise in Barbie lore. I did not know this. I've never heard. Of, I didn't. I've never heard of this. Is that true? Midge and Alan are, are supposed to be together in Barbie lore. What? I did not know. I did not know. OK, you go use bathroom. Oh, she's about to use your bathroom. That's okay. You can use this one. And then you need to get some food. Yes. Oh my God, that's amazing. Alan was so good in the movie. He was so funny. It was, um, shoot, what's his name? That one dude. So funny. Oh, Robert's home. Oh, Robert's home. Okay, wait, we have to try to get them pregnant again. Um, so they're both gonna go relax. So don't worry about eating quite yet. Go relax. Dude, what are you doing? It's puddle time. You're trying to get electrocuted. That's what you want. Butler, get out. Posted a face reveal in Discord. Okay, I'm gonna go look. I'm pretty private, but I've known you long enough, I guess. Well, I mean, it's no pressure. It's like, whatever, you know? But we have known each other like a really, really long time. Oh, hey! I don't know, I guess that's kind of close to what I imagine, honestly, like, yeah. I would say like, your your face definitely matches your personality. Okay, try for baby, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Thank you for sharing, I do appreciate that. Now I have like a full picture. I think I kind of made one up in my head. <laughs> Because I was like, wait, have I seen your face before? Because I had, like, a face in my mind. But no, I haven't. Now that I see your picture, like, no, I have not seen you before. <laughs> I think I just made it up. I think I just made it up. The name of the RTX 2000 series of NVIDIA GPUs archetype. Pregnant again. We got the bells. Um, NVIDIA GPU archetype is named after him. Turing. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. I didn't know that. I guess I don't really keep up with graphics cards or anything like that very much. Okay. Girl, now you can go eat your pancakes. Oh, why are you making lobster? Whatever, dude. I guess you are hungry. In 2003, released a happy family midge, and she has a ring on her hand. And that's like one of the later versions because the first ones were recalled because they were promoting teen pregnancy. Yes, that's true. That's true. They did do that. They did do that. The or original midge was recalled, which is very funny to me. Because like... She wasn't a teenager. Like, Midge herself is not necessarily supposed to be a teenager, but I guess because little girls were playing with her, that's why they thought that. I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous. A little bit. Okay, come eat some lobster that uh, that he prepared. You are never gonna get electrocuted if you keep, like, do it, living your life, my dude. No, oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Scrub, you're welcome. Which is an in-joke when the CEO guy found Midge, yes. Yes, the Midge joke was pretty funny in the movie, I thought. Okay, what are you doing? Just eat. You want to eat? Eat it. Okay, Robert, why don't you go take care of your baby? They need a diaper change or something, obviously. The first dolls of Midge in the 60s were teen girls. Really? They were supposed to be teen girls? I had no clue. Because they don't look like teen girls to me, but then like Barbie dolls, I don't know, Barbie dolls look like adults to me. Like, I, they always, even the ones that are like supposed to be younger, like they just don't look that young to me. Something about like the way the doll part of it is, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Robert, you, yeah, you can just take care of the baby. 
Okay, James, are you good? You're, you're full? Okay, go splash in some more puddles. It's like raining forever because you want to get struck by lightning. Like, we're trying to do this for you. It's kind of funny how when you think about it, you found out my name before my face. True! Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But it happens that way sometimes. The internet's weird like that. The internet's really weird. Like, you find out certain things, like, in way different order than you would naturally, like, really think about. You know? It's just kind of how the internet works. Okay, what do you... You stop doing that. Why don't you put away these leftovers? All right, you can put Atlas back in the crib. We're good. Okay, why? Why? You want... No. Keep splashing. What are you doing? This is for you, my dude. I'm trying to get you struck. He's just, he's just not that into splashing. But I know this will increase him getting struck. Alright, carpool for Shimona come in. Midge was made with a smile for younger girls because Barbie didn't smile and Midge was considered the young, happy teenage girl. Oh, I did not know that. I'm learning all kinds of Midge lore. Thank you so much for teaching me. Yeah, he doesn't really like... James does not like splashing very much. And because people said Barbie was too mature. Well, I do know about that. I mean, people continually say Barbie is too mature for kids. The whole Lizzo fiasco kind of ruined the opening movie for some people. I didn't know there was a Lizzo fiasco. But that's not surprising. People always get in on Lizzo's case. Oh wait, I think I actually did hear something about that. Like it turns out that she's like really rude to her backup dancers or something. Like she was like shaming the backup dancers um, or something like that. Like there was just some, there was some serious allegations. Maybe he would like to bug hunt. Maybe you can, you can bug hunt and that'll keep you outside a bit more. I guess he's just, he's just bored of splashing. He doesn't want to do it. I wonder if her, she's going to have the the baby bump before before it's time to uh, to go to to go to work. If she gets to go to work for one day at all, let's see. She's supposed to go at ten in the morning. We'll see if she gets that baby bump before before ten. Okay, okay. The bug hunting is keeping him more occupied, so maybe then he'll get struck then. Let's see. Did you know the first doll was named Nikki and was Skipper's friend in the 70s and 80s? And when Mattel started to make her older, they made Jazzy to kind of replace the young Skipper for a while. Oh, I didn't know that. I did. I didn't know about Skipper. Like I knew definitely about Skipper dolls. Um, that was definitely one that was like part of the Barbie oeuvre um, when I was a kid. But I didn't know about Nikki. I got curious about how long it's been. It's been since at least 2019. Crazy to think we've known each other four years, right? Yeah, I want to say, like, like we met when I, before I was streaming. Like, when I was doing just YouTube is when we met. Because I was going around and joining all these different, like, um, servers that featured RP and other kind of, like, nerdy stuff at the time to, like, promote my YouTube channel. And I want to say, like, that's how we met. And I found out that Nerdalius existed. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go in there. And then you were cool. So we, you know, we talked. <laughs> you know? I'm not in a lot of those servers anymore, but I am still in a few. I am still in a few. Jazzy was considered Barbie's trendy teenage cousin. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. All right, he's catching a lot of bugs. He's catching a lot of bugs, but he's not... Like, James, why, why is the lightning not happening? Like, what am I doing wrong? Does he need to come over here? Why don't you come splash in this puddle where it's, like, really open? <sighs> yeah, you're still in mine. That's what I thought. I was like, I think I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I'm still in Nerdalius. Oh, look at that. She's helping him learn- learn to music like her. That's sweet.
That's sweet. <clears throat> okay. I don't know... Yeah, no, he's got too many issues. Like, I don't... Okay, you can come, you can come shower. It's okay. You can come shower. It's okay. I don't see anything wrong with growing up Skipper. Maybe the people then considered it her wrong, but now we have weird toys and she would be considered to be, like, more of the normal ones. Yeah, I, I agree. But also, like, when I was a kid, there was not a lot of non-Barbie dolls. Like, if you wanted to play with dolls, like, Barbie was the main thing, you know? I feel like now there's a whole lot of other kinds of dolls, um, to, like fashion dolls similar to Barbie that girls can play with, but that are actually like good quality and nice and like look good. But I feel like when I was a kid, like in the 90s and early 2000s, that just like Barbie was the only one, really. Barbie was the only one. Like others were just not like that, you know? Okay, what does this baby want? Let's just do a... Do we need to... We don't need to change the diaper. He's probably hungry, Charlotte. Feed him. Feed Atlas. I have a mod that will let them breastfeed. But I don't know... Like, can I actually choose that? No, I can just choose, like, cuddle or play. Well, I'll just let her hold him until she figures it out. You can do it, Charlotte. I believe in you. Okay. Now will you go splash? We're going to have to turn off this rain. It's like raining too much. If he doesn't get struck soon. But I thought that would be like so cool. Because we've not had someone get electrocuted. And you can get like a ghost from that. Oh, Robert gained a point of creativity. Creativity is not useful for your job, but that's cool, I guess. Why don't you come up here and you punch instead? Okay. Okay, I guess James was just bored of splashing before. I don't even know. Let's see. Weather, rain, thunder and lightning. Splash. Yeah, and I think definitely when it comes to, like, dolls and, like, things like that, like, toys for kids, kids get, like, bored and trends change so fast. So, like, you've got to keep them updated oh, if you want to keep one. them around, you know? So, like, growing up the, the the Skipper doll or things of that nature, I think are, like, kind of, is kind of inevitable, you know? Like, you kind of have to do that. Oh, my God, it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. Don't drink coffee. Go to bed. I'm going to lurk for a bit. All right. Thank you so much for lurking, Blue. We love our lurkers here. Okay, um, it's 1 a.m. Go to bed. Go to bed. James, you you keep hunting for bugs. Okay, weather, rain. Let's do thunder and lightning. Wait, why are you going outside? Why are you outside? Oh, she putting... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Did you know that Chelsea Barbie's younger sister was first named Kelly? In the 2000s was made a baby considered Barbie's sister, and some people thought it was Barbie's daughter. Yes, I do remember that, and also thought it was Barbie's daughter when I saw that doll at the store. <laughs> yes, um, it definitely is what it looked like, you know? It is what it looked like. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I think that it's time for... Uh, let's see. I think it's time for Shimona here to retire. She's gonna she's gonna call work and retire. Oh my god. I knew the baby was hungry. I knew that's what the problem was. Why didn't you feed it? Okay, stop doing all that. Come here and let's see. Get a bottle for Atlas. Charlotte, you just you just failed. You failed at being a mom. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing, but you did do that. Okay. 
That's pretty much core marketing, yeah. Establishing a brand and keeping it going for are two different things. Very, very true. That's why you see mascots get redesigned or changed to keep the brand going. You have to make sure you're appealing to the audience you're targeting. Yeah. Like you see this all the time with like the Disney theme parks. And I actually am not approving of a lot of the recent things that they're changing um, and getting rid of in the Disney theme parks. But people like just wanting things to stay the same because they want them to stay the same. Like you can't do that. Like they have to get rid of old rides and update rides and change theming and things like that. Because if you don't keep it fresh, then there's no there's no reason, you know, no one's going to care. So you like have to do that. And I know then that's something that comes up in the Disney fandom, like quite a lot about like, oh, they're changing this, that or the other at the parks. And it's like, well, they got to like they they that's they have to um, or it's not fresh anymore. You know, no one wants to see the same thing over and over. Like if you want to see the same thing, like you need a break from it. And that's not what you really want in regards to marketing. There's no mention of Barbie's parents until 2018. There was created a show, Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures, where the team Barbie is teaching us not to be perfect. And there was her parents. I remember that was a YouTube show, wasn't it? Wasn't that a YouTube show? I feel like I, I saw like some memes from that show. You're not going to keep people coming back like that. Exactly. Exactly. It's also on TV. Oh, I didn't know that. For some reason, maybe it's just clips on YouTube. I don't know. But I know I saw some memes. I know I saw some memes and I saw some clips and I thought they were real funny. Okay, what's ha- Oh, he's getting chased by bees. <laughs> James! Oh my gosh, I guess that's what happens if you hunt bugs for too long. Sorry, James. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's bee time, I guess. Sorry, sorry, James. Sorry. Okay, let's go splash in a puddle a little pit. See if we can get him struck by lightning, and then I'm tired of this rain. We're gonna turn it off. We'll, we'll try again later to get him struck by lightning. Turn off, turn off the rain. Yeah, it's not. He's not getting struck. I don't know. I wanted this. Like I thought we could do it, but it's not. It's. I guess it's harder to get struck by lightning in this game than I thought. All right, you can go to sleep. I had an idea to make it summer and be a heat wave and make him wear winter clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It is summer right now. Okay. He's the most awake. I oh, know she's the most awake. Uh, so why don't you come here and change his diaper? Change Atlas's diaper. All right. When she wakes up, she's going to call work and she's going to retire because we're going to need her help. Like we're gonna need we're gonna need Shimona's help to take care of all these babies that we're gonna have. So we're about to have another one. We're gonna have to make adjustments to the nursery too. Okay, why? No, Atlas doesn't go on the floor. He goes in the crib. My God. You know what's a YouTube show that was like Barbie? But also made a big Monster High. Yes, Monster High dolls are really cool looking too. Like, I think they're really neato. Obviously, it's after my time, so I never had any and I never really watched the show. But like, I've seen the designs and just in general, I think the designs are cool as fuck. Like, they're really neat. All right, Robert, you're going to work. Hopefully you can get that promotion so you can get back on track. I'll let you sleep until it's work time. The line where Midge is pregnant, they made her like parents and houses and neighbors. That's cool, though. That's really cool. I don't know. I think it's neat. My sister grew up with them. She absolutely loved it. Whenever I babysat, that's what she wanted to watch. Monster High. Was it good? Like, did you like the show? Yeah, we're going to retire. Time to retire. We need your help in the house, Shimona. Yes. We need your help taking care of these babies. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Oh. And in that line, it's only the black skin version, Midge. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and she, she had a different virtuoso dress. Oh, okay. That's interesting. 
and embrace being weird and different and giving a good message it's um better to be yourself that's awesome yeah monster high was like after my time but like in my mind i imagined it must be really good because i thought the designs of the dolls were really good so that's good to hear that, that the instincts were correct okay you need to take a shower yeah we're gonna have to we're definitely gonna have to use this room for some of, for one of the kids because this room isn't in use anymore and then like i don't even know this outfit robert don't worry we're gonna get you promoted again i promise i promise you can do it i believe in you i believe you're gonna go right back to where you are it's funny to admit my favorite was Frankenstein. Oh, I know which one. I liked the the werewolf girl design. No idea about any of their personalities in the show. But design-wise, I like the werewolf girl, which is probably not surprising. <laughs> but I thought she looked cool. She looked cool as fuck. Okay, what are you doing? Um, I guess you can resume cooking. The butler started cooking and then stopped, or somebody started cooking and then stopped. What? No, why? Does she suck? Does she suck, Scrub? Tell me. Tell me the tea. Is she awful? What is that car here for? Oh, for her to go to work. Okay, okay. Yeah, she does get to go to work one day, I guess, before Baby Bump is here. Alright, Shimona. You don't need to eat that. You're already full. But you can go ahead and put away these leftovers. So we can eat this later. No, but she can be stuck up. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I picked the mean girl. Are you telling me I picked the mean girl? Was she like the Regina George? I do like that type of character, though. Honestly, so this does not dissuade me. <laughs> No, the mean girl was the mummy girl. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I don't like her design very much. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully, she can get a promotion in her one day. Because she's going to get the baby bump, and then she's going to be back to not working. Because I think level five is where we'll get the koi pond, which would be nice. We can unlock the koi pond. Um, so that'll be good. Are you going to make a make a later gen a home renovation? I don't know. I'm not like super into building in this game, so I'm not I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. But we'll see. But this next gen is going to be all about having as many we're going to have as many kids as possible and we're going to get as many career wards as we possibly can. Um, we do now have a boy. So I said last time when we have an air boy, we're going to make him a knowledge sim. So I already know Atlas is going to be a knowledge sim. And we're going to try to get him alien pregnant to continue the legacy. So that'll be for Gen 6. I do know we're going to do that. I'm very excited. It's going to be very fun. Okay. Let's try again getting him struck by lightning today. So let's do... But let's just do the cheat so I can do like the all the thunder. So we're going to do weather... Uh, huh? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, I guess I have to make it rain first. Make it rain. I make it rain. Okay, so let's make it rain, and then we'll do the thunder, the more, and then the thunder and lightning. The mummy girl embraces rich girl stereotypes. They all really grow a lot throughout the series, though, and they all get great character development. Oh, I love that. I love that. Maybe make an alien be together with Bigfoot. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna put Bigfoot in the legacy. I don't think we're gonna do that. But I do love the idea. Oh. Elevator broken. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Go make it rain. Uh, let's go create some rain. Alright, thanks for taking care of the baby, Mr. Butler. <clears throat> He's probably going to have to go repair the elevator now. But yeah, I think, so Atlas is, that's what we're going to try to do with Atlas. We're going to make him a knowledge sim. We're going to try to get him alien pregnant. So that'll be really good. All right, James. Go make it rain. No. 
this will you go die. Kimono, Kisalba, Mama, 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 Alright, there's the rain. And then we're gonna do some thunder and lightning. And then we're gonna do more. More. We're gonna make it the most. Okay, that's the most. And it's when we've got thunder and lightning. Okay. So come splash. Oh wait, he's playing in the, the weather machine, so that's fine. Oh, Charlotte surfaces from an uneventful dive to find a lovely mermaid sleeping on the rocks near her boat. Up until this moment, Charlotte had never believed in mermaids, but her eyes don't lie. Should she report this beauty to the media or should she leave the creature in peace? Leave it in peace, Charlotte. That's what Charlotte would do. Charlotte decides to let sleeping mermaids lie, but her dive partner is a bit more eager to report the mermaid against Charlotte's wishes. <gasps> Credit goes to her partner for the discovery and Charlotte in anger kicks her boat and injures herself, loses a body skill point. Charlotte, no. Charlotte, no. I'm sorry your partner fucking sucks. What the heck? Yeah, that was that was wrong, right, Lunar? That's so fucking wrong. It's easier if you make it rain with like the ice that hits you in the head. Do you mean hail? You can get struck by lightning easier in hail? Is that true in Sims 2? Cuz there's a different there's a different one that's um it's hail death. But the thunder and lightning is easier with hail? Okay, let's do create weather hail. So he wants to get electrocuted. And I want to have that for him. Okay, so I'm going to make it hail. Hail in the summer. <laughs> It doesn't hail where I'm from, so I really don't know how, how hail really works. Okay. So, but there's no thunder and lightning in hail. It's just hail. No hail death, but I, but he wants to get struck by lightning. Okay, let's change it back to rain. Because I want to try to fulfill this want. Like, if he doesn't die from it, he'll at least get struck and, and fulfill the want. So we're going to change it back to rain. Yeah, we haven't done hail either. But for hail, you just have to keep them outside, right? Okay, more. And we're gonna do more. Yeah, and then thunder and lightning. Tension checks. Okay, come splash. Let's come splash in the rain. Do I? Should I just like trap him out here? Like, should we just do that? Is that? Is that? Will that work? Sims, will you let intrusive thoughts like wanting to get struck by lightning are normal and actually do right? <laughs> right? It's like a random intrusive thought, but like in the Sims, you actually are gonna do it. Okay. What if I wall him in? Will that make it happen? Or because he has walls, the lightning is not gonna... ...work like that. I don't even know. Oh, can't place on slope. Okay. Oh my god! Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. N no, not the entire lot, just like this bit. Still getting camp place on slope. The heck? There we 
go. Now it should work. Yeah, because it can lightning in there, I think. So this should work. I hope. Can he still hunt for bugs in here? Yeah, he can. Okay, hunt for bugs. You're still considered outside, so we're good. And that'll keep him occupied with the thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Okay, who is this? Is this Robert or is this Charlotte? It's Robert. Oh, he did not get the promo. I'm sorry, Robert. I'm sorry. Okay. You can go use bathroom. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. True. Okay, you need to change into your everyday because you can't just wear that around the house, Robert. You can't. Okay, maybe Charlotte will get a promo. Maybe Charlotte will get it. lightning so difficult oh charlotte did get the promo underwater demolitionist yes what could be more fun than blowing stuff up absolutely nothing blowing stuff up sounds amazing okay um what's happening are they about to oh oh the butler's taking care of it okay um all right so can she get the koi pond now um Did she level up enough for the koi pond? I don't... I guess not. Where is it? There it is. Okay, I guess she has to level up again, so we're not there quite yet. Alright. I don't know why my brain went to this, but immediately after saying that my brain goes, I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. <laughs> That's a good song. Diggy diggy hole song is really good. Butler, why? What are we doing? Just, just throws it? Okay. Atlas should not be laying on the floor. What's happening? Oh, they're about to do ACR. Okay. Well, you can take care. Wait, oh. Is Sterling going to take care of it? Sterling's going to take care of it. They're just a great band, true. Okay. Thanks, Sterling. Thanks, Sterling, because that was ridiculous. Oh, he's mad he's trapped. Is there anything I can do to get him struck? Like, why is he why is it not happening? Give me more thunder and lightning. I don't know. I'm gonna Google this real quick. How to get struck lightning sims 2. Okay, this says put him in a hot tub. Google says put him in a hot tub, but it's from the, the Sims fandom wiki, which has a lot of wrong information. So, but I don't know, we're gonna try it. Let's um, get the regular hot tub. Uh, where is it at? Maybe it's under here? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna get this this hot tub. Put it right here. And uh, we're gonna get rid of these walls. It's struck by a smooth criminal. Okay. All right. Oh, you have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, you can go to the bathroom first, and then you can get back in the hot. You can get the hot tub. Okay. <laughs> it's in song mode. It's in song mode now. Yeah. 
You don't need to go check out the hot tub. You don't care about that. You don't care about that. All right. Oh, scrub. I'm trying to remember. Did you ever um? Did you ever play World of Warcraft? Because guess what we're doing next week instead of Sims. The hardcore servers are dropping, so we're gonna play. We're gonna play some hardcore WoW. Um, I'm gonna roll up a warlock. We're gonna see if I can play for a few hours with you guys uh, without dying. We're gonna find out. Uh, I never really like played hardcore or anything like that. Um, so I don't really know. Uh, typically I die a lot and, um, yeah, <laughs> so we're going to see if I can play without dying. Um, yeah, we're going to try We're going to try to do some of the hardcore challenge and I don't know if I'm going to continue to stream it or if it's just going to be like a one-time stream. We're going to find out. I don't really know, but like I wanted to stream it with you guys since the hardcore servers are launching on Friday. So next Saturday, we're going to, we're going to do some hardcore wow stream and see what's up, see what's up with that. I'm going to roll a warlock. It's going to be super fun. Played RuneScape back then? Oh, makes sense. A lot of people did. RuneScape was the jam. RuneScape was the jam. Wait, who's slapping? Why are you slapping? Don't slap her. What the fuck are you doing? Alright. So, she doesn't really want to get struck by lightning. So, we're going to get her out the hot tub. The granny's in the hot tub. Yeah, Shimon is in the hot tub. So we're gonna get her out of the hot tub. Cause he's in, cause James is in the hot tub because he wants to get struck by lightning. Wait, why? Why do these two dislike each other so much? They got negative relationship. I don't understand it. They, she has not liked Robert since he moved in. Oh, baby number two. Baby number two. Okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to redo some room. Like, I don't even know, cause we have, we're gonna have to have multiple cribs. So we're gonna have to take this bed and put it in one of the rooms upstairs and go from there. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay. Yeah, this is just like it. He's just not getting struck. I don't understand it. James, why? Why won't you get struck by lightning? <laughs> Ugh. I didn't think the sneeze was going to come for a second. I guess you can eat. Like, it's just, it's not happening. And now it's raining all the time. Just like real life. It never stops raining in real life either. I don't know if it's raining all the time where you guys are, but it's raining all the time where I am. The game might be down to play with you, although it's Final Fantasy XIV. It's free for players up to level 40 or something. It's got plenty of gameplay similar to WoW. Yeah, I've played Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it's pretty good. Like, if you're into that kind of game, I do recommend it. Um, it just didn't, like, I don't know. It didn't grab me, but I have played it uh, pa past the free version. Like, I've, like, purchased it before and all that stuff. And, you know, I kind of just blaze through the story. I don't know. Um, but it didn't really, like, stick with me. But yeah, I have played it. It's a good game. It's a good game. It's not raining in Texas. Y'all have the opposite problem, don't you? Yeah, sorry. Sorry that, you're, that your mom hates your husband, um, Charlotte. That really sucks. I don't understand why that's the case. I don't know why the butler left the baby on the the floor. But we're gonna go put him in crib. In the crib, it's been storming in Missouri almost nonstop, right? Yeah, the eastern like. Well, I guess Missouri is not really in the east, but it's not in the west either. I don't know. It's been raining nonstop here on the east coast. Like it just it never seems to freaking stop raining. Okay. Is it time to grow up Atlas? No, it's not time to grow him up. Okay. Um, okay, you ate some food. You had some chat. Why don't you go get back in the, the hot tub? Yeah, see, they're fighting again. Why? Why, you two? Why? Charlotte's just like, 
Nope, I am not getting into that. I am not getting into it. Like, they hate each other. Oh, and she's crying. Robert, you made her cry. Boy, just go away. Just go away. It's kind of lower central, not quite east or west, but it's not south either. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of how I would describe Missouri, too. It's kind of like the southern part of the Midwest, you know? Okay, it keeps thundering and lightning, but it's just not striking. Yeah. Oh, gussing up does improve her hygiene a little. That's funny. Why don't you go take a shower? He's out, he's in the other. Robert's in the other shower, so you can't do that. But Robert can come get some leftovers and get like a big plate out so that she can eat some of that. Yeah, I'm glancing at, at Google and it's basically saying like have your sim in a hot tub or pool while it's lightning and they'll get struck, but like see it's just not happening. It's not happening. James, just get struck. I know you want to. It's not even the Midwest, even though most people who live here want it to be the South. <laughs> what a strange thing to want. <laughs> what a strange thing to want. As a southerner. As a southerner, myself. What a strange fucking thing to want. But yeah, that's my impression of Missouri too. <laughs> they wish they were they wish it was the South. But it's not. I don't know. I guess some people just love being being the lo the losers. Oh god. <clears throat> Come on, this lightning? It's not happening. Got this emote back? Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Uh, but you, you, a lot of them are still locked to you, right? Because you don't have the bits built up from like you did on the other account. Legit, if you mention how they're not the South, they brag about how they were in the Confederacy, like it was such a great thing to be slave owners. Wow. Wow. Wow, cringe. <laughs> That's so cringe to me. I don't even know. I don't even know. But I don't really know much about um, the area. So, like, I can't really say. I can only talk shit about my area where I live. <laughs> you know. All this thunder and he not getting struck. Why? Um, okay. Yeah, he's still in the hot tub. I guess they just going to keep him chilling. I get to talk shit on them in New York. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the places you live. That's what you know. Oh my god, they're arguing again. Why, you guys? Why? This is unnecessary. That's her husband. You need to get used to it, Mom. You just need to get used to it. Twenty-two years in New York and eight years in Missouri. Yeah, I would say that gives you license. I would say that gives you license. She keeps putting things down on this end table. I think we should got to get rid of this end table. Because she keeps walking all the way outside to do that. Oh, can't delete it if it has an object on it. Oh my god. And I can't pick it up yet. Okay, just walk away, girl. Walk away. Okay, let's move this. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Anyway, let's put this inside for a moment. We can take it back outside if we need it later. Yeah, it can just be there. There we go. There we go. All right, Robert, you can go to bed now, too. It's midnight. Okay. James, what are we doing? Okay. I have to pee, so we're just going to watch... We're just going to watch James in the hot tub for a second. You'll get a nice close-up of him. I'll be right back. Like, two seconds.
Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jana, welcome in. Yeah, it was. It's a hot tub. Uh, it's a hot tub stream. Oh, but I hear the baby crying. Hang on. Let's do this. Okay. Atlas. Hold Atlas. Let's get him some. Let's get him some noms. Um, he's probably hungry. So go on, Grandma. Oh, and he has a full diaper, too. I guess you can do that. I love, I always love your Sims 2 streams. Thank you so much. Jana, I don't, did you used to have a different name or something? I don't recognize your name. Maybe, but maybe you just lurk, which is fine, by the way. We love our lurkers here. Makes you want to play Sims 2 so bad, you, sh you so should. Um, Pleasant Sims has a great guide on getting Sims 2 to run on modern machines that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, also, if you do exclamation Sims 2, you'll get my document that has like some tips of how to get it to play and links to Pleasant Sims stuff to get it working. I usually lurk. Well, thank you so much for lurking. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Maybe you make him tired and he'll be struck. Do you think so? Um, let's see. His social's really low. His energy's halfway. Maybe. Maybe if he's really tired, like, he'll get struck. I don't know. All right, you can put Atlas in the crib. Should be birthday time soon. Let's see. Is there a help with birthday? Uh, not yet, not yet. I wonder if he's not getting struck because he has a platinum plum bomb. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I've just fulfilled wants for him too much. Because his aspiration's maxed out. Maybe I just need to spend some aspiration. just spend him up but maybe yeah maybe that's why okay but he's still platinum aspiration we don't actually want these we're deleting them all I found with old games and emulators, you gotta make sure to turn off Discord overlay because it breaks them. Otherwise, I'd do it with Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Yes, I have found Discord does a lot of breaking of those things as well. Maybe I need to spend his influence. So let's see, influence to clean. So why don't you go tell her to clean? And then you can get back in the hot tub. No, he's still got platinum. But that's his influence meter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know why he's got because he's not perma plat. He did not get 50 first dates. He didn't. So I don't know why he's platinum all the time. I mean I do play wants base, so like I fulfill their wants quite often. But like I really have not paid that much attention to him in a while. I have no idea why it's like that. Okay, we spent we spent up his aspiration. We don't have a career reward to get. What does he have in his inventory? Nothing, nothing worth anything. We've already got the fitness plaque hanging up, yeah, so we don't need his fitness plaque. Maybe though we need to delete some of this stuff, I don't know. Bug collection. So we don't need this. We don't need these. Just from his dates, his zillions of dates. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get him to not be platinum.
But yeah, Sims 2 in general does not run right on modern computers. There's a, like a bunch of stuff that you got to do to make it working. But luckily, the Sims 2 community like is still pretty big and um, and thriving and everything. So like you can easily find people that have made like mods and, and tutorials and things to make it all work. Um, it's not difficult. All right, Robert, you're going to go punch that when you wake up because your needs are actually really good. Should probably use the bathroom, though. Yep. Oh, you're already going upstairs. That's okay. Oh my gosh, it's Karen. Hello. Hey, girl, I noticed you've been streaming a lot more lately. I know I haven't popped into, I haven't like said hi or anything, but I've been noticing. I've seen you. How have you been? I hope the streaming more means like things are getting a little bit better for you. Charlotte has a day off today. Robert's going to work. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, we need to buy more groceries. Okay, you can do that. Let's see. Oh, Butler's gonna do it for me. Things are slowly getting better circumstance-wise, but health-wise not so much, so streams are still sporadic at the minute. Makes sense. Well, at least something's getting better, even if it's not all the situation. And if circumstances are getting better, um, then maybe like the less stress will help with the health stuff too. Cause I, it's like, it's all interconnected, you know? Like it's all interconnected. So, I have I have good I have good hopes for you. All right, Robert, you need to go to the bathroom before you uh go to work. Yeah, looking at like these Google results for the getting struck by lightning, I'm not seeing anything about how I'm not seeing anything about how um it might not work if you're platinum. It does say another good way to get struck by lightning is flying a kite, but I don't think... I think he's got to... He would have to have more nature hobby experience to be able to fly a kite. I'm pretty sure that's tied to that hobby. Yeah, if we click on the nature hobby... Oh my gosh. It won't do it. Okay. Go hiking, be in the zone. Maybe it's not nature. Yeah, I don't know. I think you don't care anymore about him getting struck? No, I do. Like, I keep, I'm keeping him in here. Like, I'm not messing with his needs, but it's just not working. It's not working. So, you know, I can only do so much for so long. All right, you can go to the bathroom, dude. It's fine. I have an appointment Thursday and I have to go alone. I'm so nervous, but it needs to be done. You can do it. You can do it, girl. You can do it. I believe in you. I know doctors are scary, and it's especially scary to go along alone, but like, it's better to go. It looks like he's at the end of life. Yeah, he is at his, the end of his life. Like, it's not gonna matter very soon. <laughs> he's not gonna fulfill this want. I just thought it would be cool to do that at the end of his life, but I don't, it's probably not gonna work. <clears throat> I do need to go turn off this rain, though. All right, honey, can you go out and turn the rain off? You could just go turn it off, please, Charlotte. I'd appreciate that. Uh, 
uh, you can get a toaster pastry. And Shimona, you need to feed the kitty cat. Thanks, Kaylin. Then she's the one to get struck. <laughs> yeah, but she would be okay because her needs are all like maxed out. So she'd be okay with it. It wouldn't be a problem if she got struck. I mean, it would be very funny, but it would not be a big deal. Yeah, like, I don't know. Somehow he got permaplat from something, but I don't remember doing anything that would have gotten him permaplatinum. I only go three because I'm too stubborn not to. That's when stubbornness is good. Right, that's when stubbornness is good. But I'm glad. Hopefully you get um get some good results, get some good news, you know, good ideas of what to do, things like that with the doctor's appointment. So um, I have good hopes for you. I have good hopes. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, no, don't go spin. You should um hold Atlas. I just, it's going to be, it's, I don't know why he's not grown up yet. I feel like he should be. Oh, Butler, why? She was going to handle that. His mom was going to handle that. Whatever. You know, she didn't breastfeed that baby once. I guess it just kind of depends on the sim. Get him away! Well, Charlotte's there. You can talk to her. Let's get some more. Yeah. He probably has some more, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Was that just the low social sound? Right before he did a good social interaction? Oh, the social bunny is here. Oh, he got the yellow one. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get you struck by lightning like you wanted. It didn't work like that. It, it's my bad. It's my bad. It's okay. Grim Reaper is going to be here soon. With this particular thing, there's no good scenario. Not only uh, only a not so bad, I guess. If it comes back negative, then we'll have to find out what's going on. If it's positive, well, things. Oh, I see, I see. So if it's negative, it's still a mystery. If it's positive, then it, then it's like at least you know what to what you're dealing with, but it's not good. Is that is is that right? Is that kind of what's happening? That is a tough spot. That is a tough spot. What are you hoping for? Are you hoping for positive or negative in that case? I don't know what I would hope for in a case like that. Maybe positive, so it's like at least I know. Okay, Charlotte. Go hang out with your baby. Oh, Shimona's got the baby. Well, you can just chat then. There we go. Change Atlas's diaper. <laughs> Bye, social bunny. Didn't really need you. You were you were just a little bit late. Basically, something's wrong with my hormones, and they're sending me to get scanned for cysts in my ovaries, which could lead to surgery if they're there. And too bad. Either way, with PCOS, I'll end up with permanent hormone meds. It's not that. We have to find out what's causing the issues. Well, uh, even though like PCOS is very serious, there's like a lot of people with it, and my understanding is like they have pretty good treatments for it. So like you can have a really good life still with um with PCOS with not like too many issues, especially if you can get on the hormone treatments. Okay. I feel like it should be birthday time for Atlas. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Dance time. Whoa. He pretty fit for someone who's at the end of his life, huh? Huh, right, James? Man, I still want to get, like, a ghost with him. Like, and he's so close to the end of life. Maybe let's try for the hell one. 
We didn't get him struck by lightning like he wanted. Maybe let's try to get the hail one. Tension check. It's more that, I, um, that I'm against pharmacies. Oh, I see. Way to profit from too much suffering. It annoys me having to rely on them for the rest of my life. And it's like the universe spitting on... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. You know, we all have to participate in capitalism in ways that are, um, no, no bueno. You know, we all, we all end up having to do that. All right, we're going to try to get the hail death before the Grim Reaper shows up. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Okay, temperature... No, clear, more. Oh no. Weather. Yeah. Okay, we just want hail. So let's put him in the walls. I've gotten as far as I have mostly on herbalism and other natural remedies. Yeah, but those can only go so far with PCOS, right? Like at some point you just you have to take hormones. Is at least that's my understanding. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure you know like way more than I do about that. Wait, why aren't the wall? Why can't I do walls? What's happening? There we go. I got a name for one. Badass monk fighter Ymir, okay. Adding her to a campaign soon, so might as well have her here too. Yeah, we can use Ymir for a name. For sure, for sure. Oh, bello wonder. Only use pharmacies if it's life or death. Really, Picos can be. Oh, hey, he got his promotion back. Can be if untreated. Yeah. Yeah, you do have to reduce the risk. I agree with that. But I know exactly what you mean. You don't want to do unnecessary stuff. I mean, who does, really? I guess some people, but, like, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do unnecessary stuff. Uh, let's cuddle Atlas. Okay, now you, you don't have to worry about that, uh... Sterling, why? What are you doing? Charlotte was handling it. I know she put the baby on the floor, but you put the baby on the floor before, too. So, yeah, that's my understanding when it comes to Picos. Like, you eventually just, you have to get treatment. Like, at some point. You can't go for forever. <clears throat> okay, I thought the game said that he was going to... Like, multiple days ago that it was... His birthday was going to be in, like, one day or something. Oh, bello wonder. Okay, why don't you stop hunting bugs and... See, like, is he going to be... Do you notice the hail when you're in the walls? Oh, he's playing games. I've never done the hail death, so I don't really know what to expect. Hail death. Sims 2. Oh, if his needs are low. Ushta. <laughs> Okay. I've also have to take a hit to my life in terms of I may not be able to have kids one day and that's something I really want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I want to say, like, everyone that I know that has gone through 
a PCOS diagnosis and all of that, like that's the really rough part is like, like having to come to terms with like, oh, can't have kids anymore. But you can still adopt and there are still fertility treatments where you can maybe make it work, but you're, you're right. It is kind of like uncertain. And a lot less likely. Okay, so if he's doing the bug hunting, then he's not really getting pelted by the hail. What if, what if I have him go swimming? Oh, he's gonna go cheer. Oh no, we didn't, we missed the hail death, but that's okay. We knew this was about to happen. Bye, James. You got the hula dancers because of platinum. Oh, wow. He, his friends got a lot of money. Oh, we never put away the food. Wait. Where is... Oh my god, Shimona, right after! What the heck? I thought she had a few more days! Literally two stops in the same house. Oh, Shimona, I thought you had a couple more days for, compared to him. Oh, Charlotte owns the, the club now. Wow, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't th know they'd go back to back. All right, move the graves, move the graves. Yeah, we're going to put them at um the church. Take me to church. Yeah, that was a blow. I thought that Shimona would stay around a little bit longer. I did not realize. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we, we got two Platinum Pleasure um, Graves. Let's get the lobster out. That was a shame. Yeah, they went together. They did go together. You know, brother and sister, they grew up together. They went together. I thought Shimona was going to stay around a few days. I was hoping she'd help with the babies, but it just, you know, it just didn't work out that way. It just did not work out that way. The life of a Pleasure Sim is shorter. The life of a Pleasure Sim is shorter. But, you know, they had great, they, they loved their lives. They really did. And it's okay, because now we have lots of room for all the babies that Charlotte and Robert are going to have. Oh, another bump. Yep. Okay, and he's doing help with birthday. So... Okay, she's full now. Come on. Let's let... Why does the birthday sometimes take, like, so freaking long? I don't understand. Okay, we definitely have to move this. But look, we've got all these free bedrooms now. We've got all these free bedrooms now. So let's put this in the blue room for the moment. We're gonna need another crib for sure. Here we go. Come on, Atlas, grow up. <laughs> I know, I know, you're really sad, Charlotte. You're really sad. But your your baby's about to have a birthday. So maybe you guys can enjoy that. Wow, she's like really torn up. I mean, she did lose them both at the same time, which is pretty freaking rough. Plum to be. 
Come on. Oh, here we go. Yay. All right. Atlas got a little suit that's very adorable. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, he wants to teach Atlas to walk. Okay. How's he doing? Let's look at his personality. Okay, so he is... Let's see. Okay, so he's a Gemini. He's a Gemini. Okay, what is his... Let's find out his one true hobby. Fitness. Okay, he's got a fitness hobby like his mama. And he's going to be a knowledge sim. Okay, what is it? Okay, let's do a potty train interaction since his bladder is pretty full. What should I make for lunch? I was thinking about going to Subway, but I'm in no shape to drive since my F&Ds made my leg way too shaky, so I got to figure something else out. Do you have um, lunch meat and, like, lettuce and stuff? Because even if you're not going to Subway, you could still, like, make, like, a salad with lunch meat. Or, like, if you have bread, still a sandwich. That might be good. Put some, like, Italian dressing on it. That would be delicious. No, I don't. What do you have? What do you have in the house? Since there's no driving. Oh, she wants to resurrect them both. Girl, that's not happening. That's not happening. Sorry. No, we're not doing resurrections. All right, how are your needs? Oh, yeah, you definitely need to use bathroom. Oh, why? Why, child? Stop that. Okay, you can, um... Get a bottle for Atlas as soon as you're out of the, the shower. I don't know why you chose that bathroom. Okay. You can take a shower. Wow, I can't we believe we lost both of them back to back like that. That's crazy. Literally, Shimona was like, I'm not going to be here. I'm not going to be here without my brother. Goodbye. Can't believe it. Okay. You need to go um, turn off the hail. Please. We're not doing that anymore. Alright. And then you can put Atlas in the crib. Not much. I got ramen, tuna, pasties. Tuna sandwich would be good. Classic sandwich with just salami and a few fill and should fill with the tumu. Yeah, tuna sandwich would be good. You could put like some pickles and stuff on it. And you could put, like, some lettuce and tomato if you have any of that stuff in the house or some onion. So it's more like a Subway sandwich. And I bet the tuna fish you make is going to be way better than Subway's tuna fish. Subway's tuna fish is not that good. Okay, go to sleep. Are we having the problem again where he's not going to sleep in the bed with his wife? I think we are. All right, Robert. Mm -mm. Clear all. Okay, are you gonna get in the bed now? I usually do carrots and celery. Tend to add ghost pepper. Well, you should do pickles. You should add pickles in it too. Breaking news, Subway's tuna isn't actual tuna. There's a big scandal over here. It's actually soy. What the fuck? Is that why it tastes so weird? Because their tuna fish tastes really fucking weird. Or maybe make a sandwich with tuna and patty and ramen. Oh, what? Ramen on the tuna sandwich? Yeah. 
Wasn't there also a scandal over like how their bread isn't really bread? It's got too much sugar in it for like Europe to consider it bread. I feel like I've heard that too, and it's kind of like in European standards, it's like bread product, like how sometimes things are like cheese product because they're not really cheese. Um, oh, why are you eating that? I left it out. I left it out in all the chaos. Don't eat that nastiness. Um, oh my god. You're too hungry to go to sleep. Is that that's what's happening? That's what's happening. But you can just get the single plate. There you go. That was still in the fridge. Okay, you're good now. Now you can go to sleep. I hope. Go to sleep. Yes, okay, fantastic. Even though y'all knew me originally, knew me as Pickles, it was because of my last name. I actually can't do Pickles. It what? Really? No! A Pickles who can't eat Pickles? Scrub, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Wow. Wow. This is- my mind is fucking blown. I'm like, I feel like- what? I'm learning so much about you today. They reduce the sugar for our stores and the bread anyway, so that's fine. I knew this one. We've known each other like zero years now. <laughs> Ten years? Ten years? It's because of a school event I did? Oh. Oh, tell me more. I want to know. Wait, why is she glowing in her sleep? Is she dreaming about, about singing or something? I did not know you could not eat pickles, pickles. That's crazy. My, my mind is so blown right now. I'm like, I just, it's like, what? What other wrong things do I believe in this world? <laughs> I love pickles, by the way. I don't, you know, I don't, I can't relate. I can't relate. I like, I, I feel like you'd have to pry the pickles from my cold dead hands, you know? Let's see, she wants to get a mechanical point. Oh, he's going for the charisma, the baby is. All right, 6 a.m. So the first thing you need to do is empty this so we can do a potty train interaction with the with the baby. And then you can come do the potty train. Oh, but you're not awake yet. Why are you going all the way upstairs? So weird. I'm allergic to celery, so I wouldn't be able to eat the sandwich Sim is talking about. Yeah, I'm not a celery fan. I don't like celery. I don't, it's, I'm not allergic or anything like that. I just don't like it. <laughs> It's not my favorite. Okay. Potty train. Why are we not doing the potty train? We're gonna miss our opportunity. Come on, do it. Stop drinking the stop drinking the bottle. And let your mom do the potty train. There we go. I was like, the heck, we're gonna miss it. You can have your bottle after. Did we miss it? No? Why? Oh my god. The butler. The butler's getting in the way. Oh, put the bottle down. But now we have to empty it again. Oh my god. This is crazy. <sighs> We're not going to be able to do the potty train. Yep, he's gonna, we're gonna have to just do it. It's gonna have to be a diaper change. I'm trying so hard. Come on, come on. Oh, nope, it's just playtime now. We're not gonna make it. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying to do... Yeah, it's not gonna work. By diaper change. I knew it. Okay, let's read this pickle story. It was my senior year, and we did a field day. Part of it was a pickle eating contest, and my criminal justice class took part. We all lined up and ran up to the table with jars on them. Everyone in the class had to eat one and then tag the next person. Well, there were a few rotations, and I did like five pickles myself, and the last person up also had to drink the juice. I was the last person. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can... I. Oh, no. I can imagine this. Um, I can imagine this. Made me so sick, I can't do them now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that sounds awful. That sounds really awful. 
All right, does Robert not have to work today? Oh, he doesn't have to work today. Okay. I'm both allergic and don't look good. I lucked out on that one. I recently found out, so I gotta stop eating raw tomatoes. They're full of histamine, so my sinus issues maybe because of those juicy, whoa. Really? You can be allergic to tomatoes? I've never heard of that. But I guess I've never heard of a celery allergy either. So this is like an allergy that I don't, I don't really know anything about. Okay. Get some food. All right, what are we doing over here? You need to eat some toaster pastry too. Oh, oh, it's sexy time, okay. These two, I swear. They'll let you out when they're done. Oh, you'll get out on your own. Oh, oh, he coming in, he coming in. Atlas, Atlas, my gosh. I can't even do things like olives or pickled jalapenos. Any peppers I do are either dried or fresh. I did not know that. Most of the peppers I eat are pickled. That's my favorite way to do it. Any any kind of pepper. Histamines are responsible for the reaction to allergies. My window has been open all summer and I have hay fever, so tomatoes have been encouraging my hay fever. Oh my gosh. Girl, that's insane. That's insane. I didn't even know. Okay. Sterling, what are you doing? The B and I be a pair. For real. For real. That's a bummer for you guys. Why are you shocked? You walked in there when he was in the... Whatever. Why don't you just get some food? You're gonna grab some food. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some food soon too. It's gonna be snack time for me in a uno momento. Okay. Are you gonna get out of the way, Butler? We made Lunar hungry. You did. Also, can't take most popular any, any histamine meds because they're made with lactose in them. They are. They are. I'm not um I'm not lactose intolerant, but I was aware of that. That a lot of um, antihistamine medications you should not take if you're lactose intolerant. Which is crazy. But yeah. That's another thing I am. Oh my gosh. I don't have any food allergies. Just just in general. Like I just don't have that. I am allergic to penicillin. So yeah. And I don't know what my reaction would be nowadays to penicillin. Because like they found out when I was a little baby. And so I have no recollection of ever taking any penicillin. Why are you cooking instead of just eating the le over whatever <laughs> also need to take type of non-drowsy which is increasingly hard to find in the uk why is that is like y'all's um i don't know what you call it in the uk but like the uk version of the fda like they don't they just don't have a lot of approved non-drowsy ones what I take nowadays for allergies, by the way, is Nasacort. The nasal spray works great. And it's actually been working for years. And it's the first thing that I've taken where I didn't get like immune to it fairly quickly. So that was really nice. Did you know that in the 1800s, people made books with arsenic, which were poisonous when you lick it? Yes, they did. That was in there in the paint. Um, it was in the paint for, a, uh, for watches also. So they made like a lot of, uh, so a lot of watches were, um, were poisonous. And I think hats also, there was something in regards to like poison, I think arsenic when you were making hats. My older sister's allergic to that found out because I had a throat infection and she downed half the bottle of my penicillin. <laughs> it's not that it's not approved. It's just that most people are bulk buying them because there isn't a cap on how many bottles you... Oh, I see, I see. I see, that's a problem. That's a problem. Food allergies are in my family. My mother's allergic to baking soda. I'm lactose intolerant. Sister's gluten intolerant. Anna's allergic to most grains. Grandma has celiac. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as you can imagine, finding food for my family to eat together is a chore. Sounds like it. Holy crap. Like, what can you eat together? 
uh, grilled chicken. <laughs> you can have grilled chicken. Um, maybe, depending on what spices. Salad. Yeah, salad. Actually, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love grilled chicken, so, like, I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. Grilled chicken with a salad. A nice chicken salad, yeah. That sounds good. Okay, you need to go do a potty train with Atlas. Because his bladder is full. We're going to try to get him potty trained. There we go. Because Abby has gastroparesis, so she can't have veggies. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. So yeah, grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. That's it. We're having pulled pork for dinner, by the way, today. I'm excited. I love pulled pork. On the smoker. So it's going to be delicious. And for our veggie, we're having um, veggie skewers. So like peppers and all that stuff on some skewers. It's going to be good, good. Thank you for emptying that for me, Butler. Abby is lucky because she has an excuse not to eat veggies. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you don't like veggies, huh? <laughs> All right, y'all need to go to sleep. Well, you need to go to sleep because you're pregnant. You probably should get some leftovers out. I hate veggies. I'm sorry. I have to be careful with pork, which is common with women that have hormone issues. Gives me a bad stomach. Yeah, I've heard that before, too. I've heard that before that, you know, it's sens sensitive to the pork. Not that it's like an allergy per se or something like that, but it's just like it just doesn't work well. Kind of like how like some people can't really have hot sauce. It just upsets their stomach or whatever, or food that's too spicy and kind of like that with pork. I have heard. Except potatoes. McDonald's changed my mind. <laughs> I love potatoes. Potatoes is like a favorite food for me. I freaking love potatoes. It's delicious. Oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Boy or girl, boy or girl, what do we think? Boy or girl? Ah. We had a boy before. Do we think it's going to be a girl this time? Or do we think we're going to do another boy? What do we think? Okay. Charlotte. Oh, oh stop. Oh. 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 Oh, we're blonde again. Oh, but we're blue-eyed this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's another boy. All right. Let's go look at what's in the queue for the names. What boy names do we have? Okay. Okay. We do have another. Okay. This is another one from that's that's been in there for a while. So we're going to use it. Abram. So Atlas and Abram so far for the for these two boys. All right. Put Abram in his crib. So you need to go back to sleep. The hormones are released because pigs are so close in DNA. Our hormones can affect the meat. Oh, that's why the old wives tell us don't touch pork. If you're near on your period, it's true. You can literally turn the meat off with the hormones. Oh my God, really? Really? That's insane. I've never heard. I, I did not know that was true. I did not know that was true or that it was related to that. I learn, I'm learning, I'm learning so many things from you guys today. I'm learning so many things. School trip, went to McDonald's, only two things. There were fries and burger with mayonnaise and ew, pickles and onions. Oh my God, I love pickles and onions. The only thing I can eat were the fries and I fell in love with them. Well, McDonald's fries are particularly delicious. Most of those white toes are based on facts. They just didn't understand back then. Yeah, so there's like an element of truth to them, but I didn't realize it was like, it was like that, you know, like that was the element. Like, I do think that a lot of old wives tales are like, there's some kind of truth somewhere or some like reason that they thought that they didn't just make it up out of the blue, you know, but that's funny. That's funny. 
Okay, his energy is actually really good. Why don't we do... Because he wants to learn to walk. Why don't we try to teach him to walk? See how far we can get with that before it's too late. Well, what did we... He didn't learn to walk yet. I was about to say, like, what the heck? There's no way. He must have just been, like, being friends. Catwin, welcome! Welcome into the stream! Um, my name's Karen Terry, by the way. If you, uh, if you like... If you like Sims 2, we do play a lot of Sims 2. That's what we're playing right now. This is our legacy challenge. Generation 6 just started. So we've got Atlas and Abram as our Generation 6 bibbis. Um, and uh, and yeah, we're trying to have a, a lot of babies for this generation. Like, we haven't really done a generation like that, so that's what we're trying to do. Um, so welcome in. We also play a lot of RPGs, like tomorrow, we're gonna be playing some Final Fantasy X-2. We're doing a new Yevon run in that game. Um, I also have like a 100% run of the of Final Fantasy X. If you scroll down to my about, you can see like all the games that we've done. We do a lot of dating sims as well. Um, all kinds of fun stuff like that. And then I have a podcast, which we do um, once or twice a month or so with my friend Landon, where we do like some media analysis. Like last week we did the Hunger Games movies and we've done all the Hunger Games books. We're getting ready to do Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's really super fun. Sounds like you're having fun. We're always having fun. We're always having fun. Right now, however, I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna take my little break, okay? So you guys don't go anywhere. I'm gonna put some funny videos on. Um, for everyone that's watched the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.